Hi, my name is Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And we are the Sorry Girls. And welcome back to Loft Vibes. This is a series all about us moving into and decorating our new loft space. On to the next one. So we're gonna try and tackle kitchen, living room, and then maybe do like a dining room extension of the kitchen over there I know, somewhere. It's, it's just one room, so it doesn't even really matter. But we can kind of make spaces within the space. That's what we're good. gonna try, yeah. Um, okay, so kitchen, like it's old, but it's not too bad. Like they it look, matches. It's white, at least, and the wood is kind of the same color. This size kitchen might work if it was just an office. Since I'm also living here, I think we're gonna need a little bit more storage. Okay, and then this, I've, I've seen these like, like pot hooks and stuff yeah. that you can just put up. And I think they're stainless steel, so they might look good if we just like strip them there and then we can put, I don't know, it'll become like decor, like kitchen <laughs> decor. Ooh, pot. Yes, pot. Mm -hmm. And then that saves you from using that space in here. Using all this space, yeah. Because mm -hmm. the space is pretty much full and we don't even have our pots yet. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> so this we've kind of loosely set up to be like a living room space, which I think we can keep it this way. It just needs to get nicer. Yeah, are you down with mounting this? Yeah, for okay. sure. Pause, if you guys are wondering how the TV is magically back together, I glued it, I fixed the stand, and it's looking good. And then we were thinking a gallery-ish wall. Yes. You um, into that? Yeah, because Umbra gave us all of those amazing frames. Yeah. So we can do something and really the clock. cool with that. So wait, this is gonna be nothing, right? K yeah, kind of not, because we'll do like a living room here. And this then, is like our, our filming area. Yeah, we'll keep it kind of empty. Okay. And then over there, we'll do like a little kitchen I want this to be the plant nook where we revive our fiddly fig, <laughs> where we nurture our new fiddly fig. All these plants. And the pineapple. Thrive. <laughs> we need the pineapple to grow so we can eat it in two years. And like a table or something here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we need a living, like a, a kitchen table. Mm -hmm. So I think I saw like a really nice like circular one. I was thinking marble, but there's also like glass. Yeah. And then also, this might be a long shot, <laughs> but wait, where is it now? Oh yeah, there's a hook up there. Right. So that's there from like the factory days. We're gonna need the world's biggest ladder to get up to that thing. But I think it'd be cool to like string a light like here. Mm -hmm. To have like a pendant light. Mm -hmm. You have good use of the like ceilings, right? Yeah, it'd be good. Um, I think we should make a list of things we need to get. Okay, yeah. And then that Best Buy stuff that we ordered. Ooh, yes! Can we open is, it? Is here, which we can like look through and see, because that'll probably eliminate some stuff that we need to get. It's probably That's true. there in a box somewhere. <laughs> yeah, all right, let's do that. Okay. So before we make a list, we get to open the delivery from Best Buy. Best Buy heard that we were making over our loft, so they said go to bestbuy.ca, pick out some things you want shipped to the loft, and we just got them delivered. It's like Christmas! Okay. Best Buy is like the best. I can't believe this. Okay. Oh my gosh. I like just wanna do product reviews of like everything. Everything. So this is the Philips Hue system. So I wanted these so that we could have lighting on fleek. Mm -hmm. And they change colors. Yo, our party's gonna be lit. Like literally. Office party. When we have our office party, like we can make the lights change color and like go to the beat. <laughs> Pots! Oh, dude, that's perfect. I can finally cook! Yes. I haven't cooked yet. I've literally been, oh, speaking of toast. Is okay. there a toaster? I think we get a toaster. No way. I've been toasting my bread in the freaking oven. Hey, that's pretty, uh, pretty amazing. Apparently, that's what the Irish do. Wake up! Anybody want tea? Maybe some tea. And more lights. Yo, they oh, heard tea. our cry. Red dozen! That old vacuum, I just couldn't. Oh my gosh. They knew. This is gonna take forever if I have to do the whole floor like this. <laughs> Can our new office though have a new vacuum? This is gonna be so helpful. The DIY mess is real. Literally though, speakers. Ooh, what? So good. What speakers were we using in our old office? My speakers. What year were they from? Um, a long time ago. <laughs> Basically, they weren't wireless. No, very much wired. <laughs> very V-wired. V-wired. I want, we should start playing music right now. I think I'm having oh, oh, yes. I might get a little drunk. What is it? Drunk? Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, enough fun, let's get to work. So the first thing we need to do is write a list of everything that needs to get done in this space. I swear, lists are lifesavers. So for the kitchen, we need storage pantry thing. <laughs> I mean, then there's like accessories, but I think Umbra hooked us up with all the accessories we're gonna need. Yeah, they had that like wicked um, uh, dish rack. Drying rack, yeah, yeah, that's the word. It'll fit in the sink, cause that one's like ugly mm -hmm. ass. Okay, so then that shelf situation under the tree, under the tree, under the TV. That's probably something if you want like a like a box, so we could probably build that. We can build a box. Not too bad. And then like the wired baskets that we made previously. Do you want it on the floor or like on the wall? Like on the floor. Okay, that's so much easier. It's then. so easy. So the first thing we're putting together is this mid-century modern arc lamp that I got online from somebody. We need to figure out how to piece it together. It like kind of came with instructions, but uh, we'll figure this out. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. But how does it sit on there? Okay. I think step one, so basically there's a couple things that need to happen. We need to put this pole into the space. Uh-huh. We need to rewire the wire onto this piece. And you put the pole in that and then it like bends. Wait, really? Does it? <laughs> I don't know. I can't figure out why the two pole pieces aren't sticking together. It's like we're missing a piece. Can you pull it at the bottom? This is like... <laughs> this lamp makes no sense. What is going on? So we ended up figuring out there's this black piece that's supposed to connect the two poles and it's actually stuck into the bottom pole. So I have this idea to make a hook made out of wire and stick it in there and pull out the black piece. Let's see if this works. Ah, Becky! I got it! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did it put it in? Or should I cut it? I'll just cut it so at least it's shorter. Maybe let's just leave it how it is right now. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Okay. Nice. DIY always saves the day. Good job, Kelsey. Okay, then this goes like this. Oh, I see. So take the screws from me so that you can do it. Okay. Oh my god, oh my god. We almost got I'm gonna it. lose an eye. Okay, try again. Okay. Ready? It's like the Chevy Chase moment in well, there's the a Christmas switch. vacation. <sighs> there's a switch though. <gasps> yes! Yes! Oh my god, I thought it was gonna work. I'm so scared. It's like I'm doing the world's stupidest fishing right now. <laughs> I feel like it's getting lower and lower. Really low. <gasps> What was that? It's the thing! Did it break? I don't know, I think so. Look at it on this side. This is not a cheap lamp. What is happening right now? Can I don't know, this? something cracked. Let go? I don't wanna let go, it's gonna freaking break. Oh, what do you wanna do? You're the new lamp, okay, done. Stay here. <laughs> here. Okay, let's go back to the stairs. There, that's how long it is. Okay, so that's so probably that's why it was too short. Okay, I'm gonna let go. No, no, no. No, no, oh, yeah, it. wait until we're Do done. Do not let go. It's like here, and it's gonna swing kind of behind the couch. Okay, can we- It looks good, but- Table it for now and move on. See if it at least stays here. We'll let's see if it even lasts. Yeah, the lasts day. the day. Okay, let's build a table. Okay. Okay. This lamp is just not meant to be in this space. Sorry about it, lamp. Next up is our table. We ended up getting a circular glass piece from a vintage furniture store in Toronto and the legs online. It's super mid-century modern and it's gonna look so good in our plan nook. It's pretty. I think I got this. So while Kelsey finishes up the table, I'm gonna open up the lamp that we're gonna hang above the table and check it out. Oh my God, those vibes though. Cute. 
It goes straight from cord to these things. Yeah, you have to wire this into an extension cord, I guess, or something. That is a little intense. Probably Google this. IKEA stuff is so popular, someone's figured it out. Yeah, for sure. Before we start wiring, we are going to put the glass on the table and get it into position. So this lamp is a little trickier than I thought it was going to be. We can't just plug it into an outlet. I'm going to have to rewire it. Why are none of these lamps working out for us today? So I did some research and I think we can Franken Frankenstein this light together. Okay. Because if you look at this cord, it's got your black, your white, and your green. Okay. And so does this one. Okay, so we're just going to chop it. I think so. Okay. All jokes aside, although we're claiming to be electricians, we totally aren't. And we did this at our own risk. So you should do it at your own risk or consult an expert. Oh my oh. God. Oh. We're such electricians. You're so electrician. Becky killed it with the wiring. She lit up this place. Get it? Yeah. Like, yeah. I love it so much. It's really cute. That lamp looks amazing. Props to that super tall ladder. And me, a little bit. So we were in LA for a couple days and when we got back, the TV was smashed on the floor because uh, the glue did not stick when we glued the TV stand back together. Turns out some things just weren't meant to be DIY'd. Since a new TV is needed, the fam came over and we got a new TV with a wall mount, so uh, I'm not dealing with stands no more. So now the TV is on the wall and looking awesome. We are gonna DIY ourselves some under the TV storage. Hold it up, yeah. So Becky and I just totally came up with this idea for the cabinet. We're using two long white shelving pieces and then we got a third one cut into the couple pieces so that we can use those as our end pieces and a middle support piece. And then we're just like screwing it together in a couple places. It took us like 10 minutes, super simple, and it gets the job done. Right? With the living space all set up, it's time to tackle the kitchen. So the main issue with the kitchen is storage, especially because we got all these super dope pots and pans from Best Buy. We need somewhere to put them. So to deal with this, we picked up some over the stove stainless steel racks to hang everything on. So our next project is the gallery wall. So this gallery wall is going to be entirely filled with art that we asked our viewers to send in. We got so many amazing responses and this wall means so much to us. We're putting our artwork in these frames and it's gonna be up on our wall for us to all enjoy. Maybe actually let's put this one back up instead. Okay. Should I move her to the top? Yeah. Like that? Yeah, just like that one. Good. Loves it. We know some pretty talented people. We do. Look at them all. That's cool. This is the coolest thing in this loft. <laughs> it's Ugh. the best. Ugh. Honestly, you guys killed it. Thank you so much for submitting your art. The gallery roll turned out amazing and it's honestly so special for Becky and I. Every time we look over there, we just get so happy. Everyone is going to be credited below if you want to check out more of their work. All that's left to do now is put the final styling touches on everything.
Oh my gosh, I love how this space turned out. Uh, the bedroom was my own personal space, but this is also a lot of space that I use, the kitchen, the living room. I'm so excited I could cook and watch TV and uh, chill with the plants. So I think that the living space and the kitchen turned out absolutely beautiful. The plant nook is my favorite, as well as that gallery wall. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy with how it turned out. You guys are amazing. I think this is turning out better than I could have ever imagined. I want to say this is my favorite episode yet, but then I feel like I'm going to say that with every new episode. Exactly. It's so good. Yeah. Also, thank you so much to Best Buy. They honestly hooked us up so hard. Microwave, a whole bunch of stuff for the kitchen, speakers, which I'm living for. I like we use them every single day, as well as the lighting system. I can turn it on with my voice. It's crazy. They had everything, and they made the space like a thousand times better, which is so exciting. Thank you so much. And also, if you guys haven't seen previous episodes, the last time we did my bedroom. Room. And next week, we are doing our office space plus like our work setup, which yeah. is gonna be like DIY film space goals. It's yeah. gonna be in every DIY video from now on, so you're definitely gonna wanna see that one. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like it, make sure that you like it. And if you love it, make sure you sub it so oh. you see more episodes. Yeah, and we'll see you next time. Bye.